This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Rumor has it. On the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Well, it's been 18 years since Jam Master Jay, who was born Jason William Mizell, was shot and killed. He was shot once in the head at his studio in Queens by a mysterious masked man back in 2002. The NYPD chief of detectives, Rodney Harrison, said he never gave up on this case. He's from Queens. So listen to this. Me being a native of Queens and being a big fan of Run DMC and Jam Master Jay, making this arrest was very, very important to me. Now, the NYPD has released the names of the two alleged suspects, Carl Jordan Jr. and Ronald Washington. This is a major break in the case. Carl Jordan Jr. will be arraigned for the murder and other charges. And Ronald Washington will be arraigned later this week. So what they are saying the reason is, allegedly, is according to the indictment, Jam Master J was involved in transporting kilo quantities of cocaine between 1996 and 2002. And in 2002, he acquired about 10 kilos of cocaine, which was intended to be distributed by Washington, Jordan, and others. But then he had a dispute with Washington and a co-conspirator, and Jam Master Jay then told him he would be cut out of the transaction. That's when, according to this indictment, Washington and Jordan conspired to kill him. On October 30th, they entered his recording studio with firearms and fatally shot uh, Jam Master Jay in the head and shot another man in the leg according to this indictment. So they are charged with murder while engaged in narcotics trafficking and firearm related murder. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that, that if they are the killers, they got those killers. I mean, I grew up watching, listening and seeing run DMC, me being from Queens, me going to school on Hollis Avenue. I would see them all the time. And being from Queens, you, you get to see somebody from your own hood become successful. And the fact that he's helped so many different artists from 50 Cent to so many, so many of them, so many DJs like myself, like Clue. So the fact that they, you know, that they caught their their murderers, you know, excites me um, and definitely rest in peace. I just hate to hear all the, all, the, all the drug talk that they've been bringing up about, oh, this, it was cocaine and he was moving this. And I just, I just don't like to tarnish the guy, to tarnish John, Jim Master Jay's legacy. He was a great dude from the, one of the greatest groups of all time and just a great brother. Well, Carl Jordan Jr. was arrested Sunday. He pleaded not guilty Monday afternoon in a court appearance that was held via teleconference in Washington. Is in federal custody. He'll be arraigned at a later date. Uh, they, he said he was convicted in 2007 of Hobbs Act robbery conspiracy stemming from a string of gunpoint robberies in New York City and Long Island. He was sentenced to 210 months in prison. He's scheduled to be released next year in April. Mm. Well, oh, and here's a statement from the family, by the way. They said, first and foremost, we want to thank everyone who has reached out in support of our family today. We appreciate your kind thoughts and words. Upon hearing this news, we have mixed emotions. We truly hope that these indictments are a solid step towards justice being served in the murder of Jay. We realize there are other families out there who have lingering pain, who continue to wait for their own closure. And we pray that this case gives them hope. In spite of all the tragedies we've seen this year alone, we take comfort in our family, our faith, and one and in time's ability to heal all, we can only hope that this news brings awareness to the fact that black lives do matter. We ask that everyone please respect our family's privacy as this case moves forward through the judicial system. That's horrible. Imagine thinking away you got thinking thinking that you got away with murder and then eighteen years later you get locked up. So that's just another prime example that you can never escape that karma. You can right. never escape that kind of energy that you put out. Eventually it will catch up. Imagine how thankful the family is now to at least know that the people who committed this crime and killed Jam Master Jay will have some type of, there'll be some type of justice and closure for them, like they said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Now let's discuss the Democratic National Convention. Donald Trump has his Twitter fingers this morning. He apparently does not like some of the things that Michelle Obama had to say. Here's a refresher. Donald Trump is the wrong president for our country. He has had more than enough time to prove that he can do the job, but he is clearly in over his head. He simply cannot be who we need him to be for us. It is what it is. Well, he tweeted out this morning, somebody please explain to Michelle Obama that Donald J. Trump would not be here in the beautiful White House if it weren't for the job done by your husband, Barack Obama. Biden was merely an afterthought, a good reason for that very late and unenthusiastic endorsement. My administration and I built the greatest economy in history of any country, turned it off, saved millions of lives, and now I'm building an even greater economy than it was before. Jobs are flowing. 
NASDAQ is already at a record high. The rest to follow. Sit back and watch. The Obama-Biden administration was the most corrupt in history, including the fact that they got caught spying on my campaign, the biggest political scandal in the history of our country. It's called treason and more. Thank you for your very kind words, Michelle. Now, he is right that, uh, you know, he is a reaction, you know, to, to President Barack Obama. The, 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 having a black president scared half of America so bad <laughs> that they wanted to get America white again. So they picked the uh, most racist, bigoted product that was presented to them in the form of Donald Trump. That is a fact. He was absolutely a reaction right to a but- I have no idea. I, really? I I really don't. I know I know the unemployment rate was at forty million. I don't know where it's at right now. Mm. I know a lot of people have bounced back, but I don't know how much. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report.